My mother sure called the shots on this one. But would I listen? No. I knew. Do you have a mother? Believe it or not, yes, I do. And she still tries to call the shots as well. What did your mother warn you about? Nicholas. You're a young man. Well, I thought he was. I trusted him. And tonight he told me that we're finished, that it's over. Did he say why? His family, the, the Cassidines, they want him back, and I didn't make the cut. You know, my mother predicted that this would happen. A girl from Brooklyn doesn't ride off into the sunset on the stallion of a prince. She told me that I would never be more than a diversion for Nicholas, and she was right. Look, titled families, they live by different rules than the rest of the world. What, and feelings don't matter? Lying's okay? You will find someone worthy of you. <laughs> That's not what I want. You are an incredibly beautiful and obviously talented young woman. I predict that within the next year, your face will be known the world over. You will have your choice of royalty, multi-millionaires, media stars. And among them will be a man who's grown into his power. A man who stands alone, who will not allow anyone or anything to stand in the way of the woman he wants. I can't believe I wrapped my whole life around Nicholas and that weirdo family of his. I mean, what is the face of deception doing in some gothic freak show anyways? Well, the prince simply wasn't for you. You know, I have a career that any woman would kill for. And I risked it all for what? For the prince of nothing to keep my bed warm? You know, my mother was right. Men are nothing but a booby trap on a woman's road to success. No offense. None taken. Well, look, um, the dock is probably not a good place to be at this time of night. Why don't you let me take you somewhere and I'll buy you a brandy? Thanks, but I think I'm through crying on your shoulder. I need to stand on my own and not depend on any man, especially charming, handsome ones, which you are. And rich ones, too, which you probably are, too. Well, guilty as charged. I hope, however, you will consider me a friend. How about you think of me as an independent woman fighting my own battles and leaving love and all of its heartache behind? Okay. Could it be possible that you're being a little bit premature? That this whole breakup is just a trick on the... Pre Who does Nicholas need to trick? Offhand, I'd say his family. Why shouldn't an intelligent young man like Nicholas Cassidyne have his cake and everything else as well? You care to spell that out? You said that he despises his family, correct? That was the line he gave me. I, supposedly it was the reason why he turned his back on them and told them to keep their title and their money. <laughs> Why are we even discussing this? I mean, it, it was a lie. Obviously, everything he ever told me was a lie. Oh, well, perhaps he feels like he can deceive his family and regain control of his inheritance. Once he has the keys to the kingdom, he will reach out to you and tell his family to go to hell. <sighs> Sounds like something I might do. Really? <laughs> but not Nicholas. <laughs> He can never work a scam like that. He's way too honest. He's he's too good for the Cassidines, which is why none of this makes any sense. Mm, too good for the Cassidines. His uncle, Stefan, tried to blackmail him into the family, but there was a lot more at stake than a, a title or a trust fund. But Nicholas wouldn't back down. And that's why I, I don't get what... What? What's wrong? It's Nicholas. 